Last month, Local 12 investigated dangerous glare coming from new LED streetlights. And now our report has prompted the Ohio Department of Transportation to make a key change to some new lights being installed in the Lytle Tunnel. Local 12's investigative reporter Dwayne Pullman shows us what's being changed in the fallout from his investigation. My call to ODOT, did that help you? It certainly brought some concerns to us that we, uh, you know, took a second look at. Yeah, absolutely. Our local 12 investigation caused the Ohio Department of Transportation to take another look at this glare from these new LED lights being installed in the Lytle Tunnel, a main artery for the tri-state. In a report, the American Medical Association wrote, the new LED streetlights cause disability glare and impairment, the report says, that causes a veil of illuminance, which leads to worse vision than if the light never existed at all. I described the bright new lights in the Lytle Tunnel to the AMA president. Does that concern you? Well, the way you describe it certainly concerns me. After we brought those concerns to ODOT, the department came up with a new plan, not to scrap the $2 million worth of LED lights being installed, but to adjust them. The intensity of the lights we're gonna play with, once we finally get everything installed properly, there will actually be a sensor on the outside of the tunnel that will match the lighting in the tunnel to what you see outside the tunnel. And the idea is, we don't want your eyes to have to adjust. That adjustment will keep the lights bright during the day, but will dim them at night. A change triggered by a local 12 investigation that, according to ODOT, will clearly make driving through the tunnel better and safer. So anytime a person like you can give us a call or the general public gives us a call uh, and, and raises a, a question, you know, let's take a look at it. We'll do that. And it worked. It did, absolutely. So it's good news, but the sensors are not in place yet. So for now, all those lights being installed will remain bright all the time. But when the sensors are installed, we're told that'll happen sometime next year. Those new lights will automatically dim, and it's a key change that will make driving through that tunnel much safer. Well, I went through the other night, and it is shocking to go from the dark Isn't it? into that tunnel and it then is. out the other side. Mm -hmm. Not good. And it's also that blue light, that bright light, and it, that glare is really a problem. I'm guessing that ODOT will put them in sooner rather than later. Yeah, because why wait a year to do it, they right? Say I mean, it's part of the construction, but uh, they're on it. All right, and as are you. Thank you yeah, very much. Absolutely.